how to make the objects and items disappear in Blender. It's really easy to do and there are multiple ways of doing this. However, I will show you a method which I also use. It's a simple method and I had some requests to make a tutorial about it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So let's begin. First thing we need to do is import our character. I'm using BPS3 version 4. The link will be in the description. I'm also going to click on add to bring out the side panel and I'm going to go to MC prep add-on. If you don't have MC prep add-on, the link will be in the description as well. So I'm going to click on this item spawner and then let's spawn, for example, a pickaxe. Reload assets. And then let's spawn a diamond pickaxe. Click on diamond pickaxe, place diamond pickaxe. And then I'm going to basically move it towards my character's arm and then parent it to my character's arm. And let's say I want my pickaxe to appear or first appear and then disappear. I'm going to show you how to do that. Some of you might already know it and be like, oh, this is super easy. So I'm going to select my character. Click on control tab to go to pose mode. Also go to edit and then disable lock object modes, which means that I'm going to be able to select the items while, some, while I'm in the pose mode. So first select the pickaxe, left click and then shift and then left click on the hand as well to select the arm. And then click on control P, go down and then select bone. Now if I select my character's bone, the pickaxe is parented. So I'm going to do a quick hand animation. I'm not going to animate the entire character. So I'm going to click on end to bring out the side panel because I'm not going to need it. I'm going to turn on auto keyframing, go to king, select location and rotation and scale actually, because we're going to need the scale as well. And then go to frame zero and then go to frame zero from here as well. And I'm going to do the simple hand animation. So on frame zero, I want my character's arm to be back like this or in a neutral pose. And then on frame 10, for example, and by the way, I'm using 30 FPS. I'm going to move my character's hands backwards. Let's set a keyframe for this on zero, I, and then go on frame 10, and then move the hands back like this as if the character is reaching in a pocket. And then go to frame 20, and then bring the hand forward. Like this. Move down the arm as well. Let's see what we have. So go to 5 in between the frame 0 and 10 and then move this out like this. So you have this motion created and then again go to frame 15 and do the same thing. Move the arm out and I just created a quick arm movement here and here. And then after the character is reaching forward, I'm going to go to frame 30 and then press on I to basically keep the same keyframes. Do the same for the arm, press on I to set a keyframe and then go to frame 40, select the hand. Rx to move it up and then go to frame 50 and then Rx to move it down again. So I created this pose of the character's hand moving up and down and I'm going to show you why later. So first let's go to frame 10 and let's say I want my character to have nothing and then once my character's hand goes forward I want the pickaxe to appear. This is super simple to do. So select the pickaxe. I'm going to go out of the pose mode so that it's going to be easier. Control tab go out of the pose mode. Select the pickaxe and right here on frame 10 when the character goes back and reaches inside the pocket, I can click on I. I can click on either on 11, 12 or frame 10, just somewhere over here. I'm going to be on frame 10 and click on I to set a keyframe. Now, what we need to do is go back about two frames and then two or one frames, whichever you want. And then on the 3D viewport, click on S and then type zero on your keyboard. So not the numpad zero, but basically the zero on your keyboard. Click on zero. And this, this is going to make the pickaxe disappear. So what we did basically is first, there is no pickaxe, even though it's parented to the character's arm. And once the character reaches inside the pocket, the pickaxe is going to pop up. And then you can see we have the pickaxe. But let's change the animation as well. Move the pickaxe down so that it doesn't go through the character's arm like this. We can rotate this down. We can even rotate this on frame 10. Rotate this down because it goes inside the body. But it's not important because it's not going to be visible inside the camera. But still, let's fix this. And then control tab, select the hand, move this out even more. Like this. I think it's a bit too much. And then you can see that we have this motion of the character picking up the pickaxe like this. It just spawned out of nowhere. So we can use this S to scale this to zero and then scale this back. Then you can see it's super simple to do. Now, once the character moves the hands up like this, Let's first on frame 20, let's adjust the pickaxe like this. And then let's make the pickaxe disappear, basically using the same method we did. So once the character moves the hand up, 
on frame 40. I can select the pickaxe, press on I to set a keyframe for it. Go forward about two frames or as many frames as you want. Basically, the more frames you go, the more noticeable it will be that the pickaxe is shrinking. So make sure not to go like too many frames forward. So again, hover over, go over my viewport S and then zero and then make the pickaxe disappear. So if you watch the animation, the character just made the pickaxe disappear. But I think I want my pickaxe to disappear like somewhere over here when the character's hand is all the way, almost all the way down. So what I can do is basically these are the two keyframes of the pickaxe. So I'm going to left click and then drag and only select these keyframes. The keyframes which are selected will be orange. Keyframes which are not selected will be white. So press on G and then move these forward on frame 47. And if I watch back my animation, we have this movement. Maybe move these slightly back on frame 45 and 47. And you can see we have this motion. And I can move the hand all the way down to make it more like noticeable. Let's animate the arm as well. And you can see we have this animation as a as if the character did a magic trick. So you can do this for items, you can do this for blocks, you can even do this for the characters. If I want my character to shrink, I can select the root bone, press on S, press on I, go forward about two frames, S to zero. And then my character is gonna shrink on two frames like this. So you can use this S or scale to zero method as many times as you want to make the characters appear or disappear. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. Now, this is not the only method. I'm sure many people have different methods. So if you have any different method which you think is easier than mine, then you can leave it in the comments and share it with other people as well. But this is the method I use if I want my character to basically make an object appear or disappear. And again, you can use this not only for the items, but for the blocks and other things as well. Blocks, mobs, characters, and so on. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Smashing the like button will be highly appreciated. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more weekly Minecraft animation tutorials using Blender 4.0 or even Blender for 3.0 or 2.8 and so on. I upload once or twice per week. And if you want to see how to make the run cycles as well, then be sure to check out this video right here. And I will see you there. Thank you for watching.